As dawn broke over the mountains, another day of searching was set to begin. It's been 13 days since Jay Slater vanished here in Tenerife. Today, what officials called a mass search formed near Masca after a call went out to all able volunteers familiar with the area. Few would come in the end, but those who did were ready to help. It's important we are able to, to find him, you know, because he's just, I, I, I think about the family and so they must be very anxious, you know, and very nervous. And if I can give a hand, that will help. The focus was on Jay's last known contact point, a ravine where his phone last recorded his location, as officials prepared to retrace his steps. Today will consist of all the personnel coming here for a thorough search, because we need to rule out areas and be sure they are well looked at. Jay had travelled from a music festival in the south of the island to an Airbnb in the north. Two men were reported to have driven him here, but after questioning, Police have since described them both as irrelevant to the case. Jay's family, although absent from the official search, were thankful for everyone who helped. I admire them for their strength, and because yeah, it's, like, it's such a tough, tough situation. Um, I'm really proud of them, I really am. They're, they're doing amazing, they really are. The mystery surrounding this disappearance continues to puzzle those looking for answers, with some now questioning how long this continuous search can go on. Joshua Stokes, ITV News, Tenerife.